Good evening. Welcome to Our Lady of Lourdes. Tonight we celebrate the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The presider for this liturgy is our pastor, Father Scott Wimsett. Please stand as we begin our celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather this evening to give God thanks and praise. We begin by admitting we are sinners. The times we've sinned, let us ask now for God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the immaculate conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant we pray that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. 
Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will. 
so that we may exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, in, in our human existence, there are moments in our lives when we come to uh, a point where we have to make some type of decision. And sometimes the decision will be one that will mark us forever, in some way, shape, or form. And I somehow believe that in today's gospel passage, that's exactly what we're hearing. We have an encounter in the story of, of an angel appearing to a very young woman. And suddenly, everything is about to change as she knows her life to be. And at the very end of tonight's gospel selection that we hear, this is what is said. The young girl, Mary, we know, and we, the, the blessing here is we know the rest of the story. But try to imagine for just a moment in her shoes what it was like to have the insight, the courage, and maybe some fear and trembling of 
for this messenger of God to be able to say the words, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Now, I don't know if it was a poof, and then the angel was gone. But there she is, standing there, having just committed herself to a course of action, a way of life. I think that life as she knew it was about to change. But tonight as we gather and we hear again these beautiful and ancient words of Scripture, I think it's a challenge for you and me to be able to do the very same thing. To stand before the messenger of God and respond with the same conviction, fear and trembling. Maybe to hear the words, do not be afraid. Step out, step up. Here's the message that's being entrusted to you. And can we say in reply, I am the handmaid of the Lord. I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. That our life is changed forever. And sometimes we do that in different ways. Maybe for you, your life was changed dramatically, maybe in marriage, maybe in the birth of a child, maybe the death of a parent, maybe in profession of religious vows, maybe, and we can go on and on and on. When we stood there before the Word of God, before the altar of God, and said those words are something very similar, and then our life is changed forever. But I think it's something that we do repeatedly. It's something that we should struggle with daily to recommit ourselves to faithfully following the Lord as the Lord's servant. To say those words that we hear Mary echo over and over and over again. Let it be done to me according to your word. So what does it look like to step out and to step up, trusting that the Lord will be faithful to the promises that he's made to us. What will our future hold? What will it be like? What's the promise that I just committed myself to following? And sometimes we don't fully understand, and we need to hear the words over and over and over again. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. It's not going to be everything that you thought it would be. It's not going to be perfect. There are going to be bruises. There will be doubts. There may be things hurled at you if you faithfully follow me. Watch out. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. A number of years ago, um, we had a wonderful teacher's aide at Sacred Heart Model School. She was a sister of Providence, and she also did liturgy for the Ursuline Sisters. She, her cancer came back. Long story short, she ended up in Marion home there on the campus at the time, and I was getting ready to go on vacation. And I went over to see her, and it was a rough day, but one of her sisters from her community was with her having a little conversation. And finally, I said, um, well, I've come to say goodbye because I I knew where things were with her. And she had a compress on her eyes. She, She took it off and she looked at me and she said, Father Scott, for those of us who follow the Lord, it's not goodbye. It's until we meet again. And I thought, here she is still teaching in her hospital bed, her hospice bed. So we don't know what the future holds. You know, but we're going to stand there 
and we're going to make the commitment, we're going to make the promise, we're going to step out, we're going to step up, just like Mary did. We're going to hear the words of the angel, don't be afraid, it's going to be okay. Even in, when we have those formulas at times, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. It will be okay because God will not abandon us. I think somewhere along the line in the exchange that we hear tonight, the beautiful exchange, Mary took that to heart. Something happened in the recesses of her heart that she knew that. And that very young woman made a commitment that echoes in our world today. I am the handmaid. I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And for each and every one of us gathered here this evening, it's her example, her intercession. You know, we draw strength from that, the courage, the conviction, even, even the doubt maybe she stood there. We're called to imitate her faith, to say yes, not knowing fully what's going to happen down the road, but she trusted. And so tonight as we continue our celebration and we hear those words over and over again, be it done to me according to your, to your word. It's her faith, her courage, her conviction that you and I celebrate tonight and are called to live. As surely as God showed favor to Mary, God will favor us and respond to the needs we now name in our prayer. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, strengthened by Mary's prayer and example, resists evil and foster goodness in the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all peoples of the world be open to the salvation offered by God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who struggle to say yes to God be inspired by our blessed mother and respond with all our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we joyfully live in the mystery of God's presence to us and within us, we pray. Lord, God of mercy, who filled Mary with grace at her conception, give us a share in that grace and hear our prayers. In Christ our Lord, amen. Thank you. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession may be delivered from all our faults. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When, when we, eat we eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, done, be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. If you're in a pew with a husband, wife, son, or daughter, uh, you may offer them the sign of peace. If not, turn to your neighbor friends and offer a gesture of peace <laughs> at this time. And to those of you at home, we wish you peace and joy on this feast day. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception. In Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.